There's Redford in my living room. And, uh, hey, hey, sorry I haven't been doing the videos quite as much, but uh, I wanted to talk about why I have all these Benjamins. I normally have almost no cash in my life. Here's an older one. And uh, there's the newer one with the little reflecty thing. Anyway, I wanted to talk about Christmas and the holiday gift giving season uh, because basically it's a huge extravaganza of waste, uh, of stuff that's made over in China, that stuff that's made in Vietnam, stuff that's made in Bangladesh. It's not fair labor. Here's Redford being cute. And even though it's a time of year that we love, it's uh, in many ways we're not being thoughtful about it. And I think the best gifts are thoughtful gifts. So this isn't like a guilt trip. This is actually a really happy opportunity. So I just want to talk about how to spend your money this holiday season if it's not too late. Um, like this Saturday here in Boulder, there's a Waldorf craft fair. And you go there, there's this old guy who carves wooden toys. There's um, this older couple who I love who uh, does amazing pottery that I often... Um, have on the show. Here's some of it. So it's this beautiful pottery. Um, and pottery is just a fun gift. You know, you can give it, there's Merlin or something. Um, here's another big bowl I bought from the, one of those type things. Here's uh, glasses that are made out of former uh, bottles. So, you know, there's all kinds of fun gifts you can uh, get that actually support people. So this is one thing that Trump fans and I think liberal types are united on, that we want to support made in the USA, or it doesn't even have to be USA, it just needs to be made by uh, people who are getting paid and treated decently, um, wherever they are. So if that's in Asia, I mean, that was part of the point of TPP, which I know is not popular with people, was to raise the environmental and labor standards to the US level so that jobs would stop leaving the US. Ironically, all the people who should be supporting it are opposed to it because we think that um, trade deals are awful. E ec uh, economists would disagree. Um, but anyway, back to the point. Basically, if it, instead of going to the big box stores that are owned by corporations that are usually like, you know, fatter white men in a different state, if you can support local. And if you support that notion, give it a like or a love or a, a crazy emoticon face. As regulars will know on the show, we normally get, um, you know, say two, three, 500, 700 people um, per moment in. Right now we're at 131. So if you wanna help wake up this video and get the message of conscious consumerism, consumerism that actually creates a more fun, more fair, more beautiful world instead of the opposite. Uh, this is the time of year to talk about this. So it's a time of year when, you know, money is not evil. It can be, but money can create, you know, whatever you give to becomes bigger. Whatever you give to becomes stronger. So if that's bad stuff, if that's um, just rampant consumerism and kind of toxic materials and plastic, that's going to get bigger. If it's good stuff, um, necessary stuff, stuff that brings joy and community into this world, um, then that gets bigger. So one thing we're doing locally here in Boulder is we're reaching out to local restaurants. This is something I've done for years and it's really easy. Um, and I honestly don't even want to uh, be a part of it. It's just awesome. Uh, is all these local restaurants get together and give gift certificates to families in need. So this is a time of year, single parents, single uh, or families uh, who are hungry and want a yummy a uh, hot meal around the holidays. So there's so many ways to kind of create community and joy. And um, I just want to remind us of that. Instead of this sort of Black Friday madness, uh, which is easy to criticize and it's, it's not bad. Um, buying stuff isn't bad. But if we can buy good stuff, that's great. So the reason I have this cash is because I just went to my local credit union. I don't belong to Chase. I don't belong to Wells Fargo, home of Stumpf. I don't belong to these huge uh, corporations, you know, my house that I'm in right now uh, nearly got foreclosed on a couple years ago by City Bank. And when I was trying to pay my mortgage, they wouldn't even return my calls because at a certain point you get in the system 
and they want to foreclose on you. Um, these banks are really soulless and kind of evil. And uh, I don't use that word lightly. I don't really even believe in evil, but they're focused on profit instead of human beings. So number one, please support uh, credit unions. Please support local banks instead of big corporations that are too big to fail and all that. Um, and yeah, I look exhausted. I, I don't know if anyone is complaining about how I look. I'm sorry about that, but I've been working pretty hard. Um, so what I did this morning is I bought something that'll be in my family for maybe generations. So first I'll show you what it's going to not replace, but uh, kind of replace. So this is a rug that, um, as you can see, is kind of worn. Uh, and this rug, I, have used, I played matchbox cars on this rug when I was a little kid. We've had it forever. It's so thin. Uh, it barely keeps you warm, but it, I love it, and I can't get rid of it. It'll just move. And then this rug that Redford clearly approves of, he's playing on it right now, it's not even set up, is this nice Tibetan rug that uh, from some fancy gallery in Soho that I just bought for almost nothing um, on Craigslist, and that's why I had to run to my credit union to get cash. So it's super thick, it's super cozy. Um, it doesn't have the kind of detail that old rugs do. But I, you know, it's warm and cozy and nice. And that's uh, the kind of, so this kind of reminded me that, and I hope this is at all interesting, but I find it super, I'm super into it, is that you can buy stuff off Craigslist. You can search antique or you can search whatever you're looking for, restoration hardware. You can buy um, armchairs. You can buy anything you want. Um, Wingback uh, chairs, um, vintage, anything. I mean, it's kind of amazing. And new stuff as well. Design within reach. Whatever you're looking for. Eames. Um, you can find it on Craigslist and it's second hand. So it's the most eco and most affordable thing possible. Often people will say that green is expensive. Green is for yuppies. Green is for liberal Whole Foods types. And that may be true. But it's also for uh, people who want to pay $400 for an 8x10 or eight by whatever it is, it's a huge rug and it's thick and it's new. Um, instead of, I think new, it was $1,600. So a $400 rug that'll be huge in my dining room or in my living room, I haven't decided, uh, that'll last for, you know, whatever, until I'm dead. Um, that's not too bad. So, and you're, you're helping local people and you're helping reduce consumption. So maybe this is... Uh, a little bit boring, but I love this stuff. The other thing I wanted to mention is that Elephant created our own eco gift list, ethical gift list. It has stuff like thanks. If you know thanks, give it a like or a love or a heart, uh, which saves the use of tampons. It's period proof underwear for after your first couple of days. It has a silly waffle iron. It has um, all kinds of gifts on it. I can show you a couple of them if you like. But um, the link is elephantjournal.com slash gifts, and it's not meant to be a commercial, but really just that we gathered together, you know, like a PVC free children's yoga mat. We gathered together things that are eco, that are responsible, companies we approve of, that we like personally, and, um, you know, we put a fair amount of work into it. So if you feel like checking it out, I'll show you a few things. Um, you can check it out and support these worthy companies. And if you don't, that's great, because uh, I'm not here to push anything. So here it is, uh, the Elephant Journal gift guide. It's very pretty, and I wrote this. It says, Elephant Journal's Ethical Holiday Gift Guide. The best presents, the one that you remember from your childhood, have a story to them. I always think of this uh, game of risk that I was given by my mom. We were super, super poor, and uh, I played risk all summer up at Shambhala Mountain Center, this Buddhist meditation center with my friends and it was the funnest thing ever and I went home and I didn't have a game of risk and you know five months later or whatever she gave me a game of risk and it was so exciting it was probably the happiest I've ever been about a gift and it's just because it had um, you know it had a story to it it had a meaning to it so it doesn't have to be um, expensive it can just be uh, you know an expression of your love for that person so I'll try and scroll down. All right, so there's these harem pants. 
There's a to-go cup um, that people seem to love. Um, there's uh, uh, yoga pants. There was something cool about this. They're organic. Um, there's styling malas. There's the Himalayan salt bowls that everyone loves uh, for people who are incontinent, uh, I guess. There's pee-proof underwear. There's cork, which is my favorite thing. Cork uh, is a renewable resource, comes off trees and provides homes for the wildlife and jobs for the cork farmers. Cork is the best thing ever. So boycott plastic wine corks. This stuff I just interviewed. Um, if there is an editor, I just interviewed. Uh, so elephant editor, no. Can you delete that link, the thanks link? Put in the gift, the gift link, you crazy kid. Please. Oh my God. Um, all righty. So yeah, Thinks has, um, you know, we're trying to help out Thinks through our gift guide. So put in the gift guide link. Please delete that comment. So organic uh, Pact, Pact is like my favorite company. Almost some, something like 99% of uh, cotton in India is um, GMO now. And they've, there's actually been a rash of suicides over the years by farmers who no longer kind of control their own lives. Pact is uh, supporting organic cotton in India. Um, there's plant-based uh, sunglasses. There's uh, vegan, gluten-free uh, makeup, which is a real thing. Uh, Paraben-free. Basically, it's free of a lot of nasty stuff. Makeup has tons of nasty stuff in it often. Um, beautiful wrist mollas. I've seen these, and I'm not a big jewelry guy, but they're gorgeous. Couple sisters, I think, made these this moon deck, uh, tarot deck, tarot, moon deck. Uh, there's the crazy keyboard waffle iron. So if you can't leave your laptop behind, hey, is the editor on? I'm gonna delete this. All right. Um, okay. So there's a bidet if you wanna clean your tush. I have never done that, but I've heard it's great, and I'm willing to be converted. Although I'm sort of scared of it. <laughs> Uh, online yoga, if you can't get to class all the time. And uh, this is my favorite thing so far, personally, because I'm 42 and I'm a guy who works on a computer. You just roll your back on this thing and you feel like you're 22. Kripalu, it's a wonderful retreat. Uh, this is like a really weird, like kind of Mad Men essential oil cigarette that isn't a cigarette that's actually healthy and whatever. It's kind of odd. I did it the other day. Uh, this is one of my favorite things. If I were a woman, I would definitely be sporting this. I love it. It's super gorgeous. And it supports, you know, it's a sustainable weaving collection. Um, pretty cool. Supports the people make it. Uh, these people, I don't need to say much about them. Uh, Tiki um, is an amazing uh, company. Uh, the yoga company. Sorry, I was reading the comments. Uh, Buddha board, it's like etch a sketch for spiritual types, I guess. So you let go of any of your art. Uh, B mat, uh, so most mats, as we've talked about in another video, that Ashley, if you could put in, uh, are PVC. So you're actually doing yoga on toxic surfaces. These mats are not. Um, this is a book by some character named Waylon Lewis. Um, uh, I've heard that despite. Um, the author is quite good. It's about a Buddhist notion of love and relationship that includes room for independence and letting go and humor and, um, you know, kind of change, all that good stuff. Uh, Eco Body Care, packed organic socks. Oh, no, they're not packed. There's Econo, which uh, employs folks in Alabama. Really cool company. I actually watched like a 60-minute special on them. I'm definitely obsessed and want a bunch of those. Um, and then more, you know, so you're getting the idea. Anyway, tons of amazing stuff. Uh, and Bess at Elephant, I'm supporting this because Bess at Elephant really worked her butt off to organize all these um, kind of eco gifts that you can buy for your friends. I also kind of want one of these things, necklaces. I want a necklace. Um, if you want to measure your mind, that sounds like a good idea. So it doesn't get out of control. There's the Eco Kids yoga mat. Uh, anyway, really cool stuff. It's kind of endless. And um, yeah, and we'd love to, you know, hopefully get to like a 100,000, 150, 200,000 views on this stuff. Support all these cool companies. So without further ado, 
I just want to say, buy your gifts off of Craigslist. Buy your gifts at a local fair or a craft show or, um, you know, a fair trade store. Uh, we have a great one in Boulder. Buy your gifts from, like, I want to get a big old quilt. So that could support some grandma somewhere. Um, and it could have some meaning, you know, it could have stuff in the quilt and then it can keep me warm. Anyway, there's all kinds of good gifts. So maybe if you're just tuning in, say where you're from and what kind of meaningful or mindful gift you want to get or give this holiday season, where you're, give us ideas, where are you going to get your gifts? Um, at least the ones you want to talk about openly. They might be secrets. So I hope you're all well. I'll go through comments. All right, KC just joined, maybe for the first time. She's probably gone by now. But KC supports uh, rescuing dogs. I rescued my doggy, And um, that's a wonderful gift if you're ready for it, if the person you're giving to is ready for it, is to rescue or foster a doggy and save a life. Deb Deep, hello. Jordan, hello. Lindsay from St. Louis. Rhonda Redford. Dominic Hay from Tom's River, New Jersey. Sophie, my friend. Uh, Jordan thoughtful also Jordan has a cool spelling of the name Jordan ever so I'm giving you a like thoughtful gift gifts rock the heart love it um, yeah dip deep I'm gonna shave on December 1st and I'm gonna leave the stash so I'm gonna look sort of 1980s for a bit it's no shave November Tamara Longview Ashley Susan Handmade things are the best. Jen, I agree. Um, Leslie, love the hat from Tustin, California. Kathleen Dallas. All right. Any comments or questions? Oh, Casey, cool. Um, Robin, uh, don't get why anyone cares how Waylon looks. Beard, clean, shaven, wrinkled shirt or not. So much more valuable information here that he brings to us. All right. Thank you. you got my back. Um, and we'll end this with two minutes of meditation if you want to stick around. Yeah, awesome link from Ashley, why it's important to support uh, credit unions and local banks, green money. Uh, we need to use our money. You know, it's, uh, this is not fake news. This is actual fact in journalism. Donald Trump is literally an investor in Standing Rock. It's too good. So meanwhile, all these progressive types, many of whom failed to vote for Hillary, now are going to get Trump as president. And yet they're directing a lot of their hate towards Obama for not stopping Standing Rock, even though he's done various things. Not enough, but he's done some stuff to try and slow it down or stop it or give pause or cause discussion around it. Uh, he's, you can look that up. And, uh, and meanwhile, we have Trump who's literally an investor in Standing Rock. So we can change the world for the better with our money. Get your money out of the banks. Stop driving a gas-guzzling car. You know, get on your bike. Um, use your money to support good businesses. Give that a like or a love if you generally agree. Or if you have a different idea about it, leave a comment or a question um, and I'll respond. Lydia, I've always said, not seeing any likes or loves, you can go. <laughs> the other day I was watching uh, Shailene Woodley, who's a wonderful celebrity, who's actually using her celebrity like Mark Ruffalo or Robert Redford or whomever to fight uh, the Standing Rock situation. And uh, I was watching her video and I was just machine gunning the the like and the love and the sad face and the happy face and and uh, you can treat it like a video game. Go nuts. And the practical thing about that is it actually helps the video reach more people. Right now we're just talking to 200 good friends. By the end of this video it'll be 15,000 total. If we can get it out to 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, maybe I'm not worthy but the subject certainly is and you certainly are. So help get it out there. All right. Lydia, I've always said that if we want the system to change, we need to end the consumer culture. We have so much more power uh, if we choose more carefully how we spend our money. Yeah, I don't have a problem with consumerism, but I do have a problem with consumerism that is unethical, that is um, unnecessary. That's the best way to hurt our planet and our society. But I love consumerism. Like when I go to this local craft fair, I get so excited because you want to support these people and it's beautiful, uh, mindful gifts. So consumerism can actually be beautiful and wonderful and helpful and you can buy meaningful things like hopefully in the gift guide or whatever your uh, ideas are. Terry, Waylon, I like that rug. W Leslie, warm and cozy. Kathleen, I love Craigslist, a form of recycling for me. Exactly, my house is 85% Craigslist. My house is probably about the same. Almost everything from the table that we're on 
the chairs that I'm looking at, the bar thing, the sideboard behind me, it's all Craigslist. Uh, Rhonda, my little sheet pin I got actually from a craft fair, a Waldorf craft fair that I'm going to on Saturday. Robin, love the worn parts of that gorgeous rug. Redford has his own. Well done. <laughs> uh, yeah, Terry Lynn, I dumpster dive. Yeah, I mean, I don't, but I totally would. I'm just not good at it, and it's kind of gross, so you're brave. We have done uh, blogs on, what do you call dumpster diving? Free, freegan, being a freegan. Um, is pretty cool. I mean, I definitely actually dumpster dive from construction sites and got good wood out of it and stuff like that. Good old brick. All right, Valance from Grand Rising. Where are y'all from? Say where you're from if you're just tuning in. Uh, good link from Ashley. Shopping secondhand is the most eco and affordable possible way to buy things. The four benefits of shopping in charity stores. That sounds like the kind of article we want to support on Elephant. So on Facebook, we pretty much can't get anyone to see articles unless they're about relationships or whatever. If you want to support Elephant, Independent Mindful Media, you can get our newsletter, our online magazine for free, elephantjournal.com slash best, slash best, elephantjournal.com slash best, and you get all of our best content, not just the popular viral stuff that gets seen on uh, Facebook. And big news for elephant lovers, I don't know if any of you are elephant subscribers, but if you are, identify yourself, because thank you, you're the ones who make us able to pay our editors, pay for our website, pay for our writers, all to do good work for you. So you're paying for us to do good work for everyone. Um, and subscribe. if you subscribe, it's only a dollar a month. It's been that same price for six plus years. And then you see way less ads. You see almost no ads. You only see ads for mindful eco businesses. So if you want to subscribe, elephantjournal.com slash read. And then you can read unlimited on Elephant. And know that one dollar a month you're supporting the editors and the writers to do good work for you but number two and here's the big announcement and this is a big announcement i should put it in the title but we're going to raise the price on the subscription for the first time really in six years uh from we're going to basically double it from one dollar to two dollars so it's still hardly anything um but it's a lot more so if you want to grandfather your your price in or give an elephant subscription as a gift to someone uh, today's the last day to do it because we're going to switch it tomorrow. So elephantjournal.com slash best and subscribe, support independent mindful media. Now more than ever, given all the fake news, given the current election that just happened, we understand the need for journalism, for creative writing that is helpful on our spiritual or, or just being a good person path. Um, so hopefully uh, you can help Elephant continue to improve and grow. And it's only a buck or two a month. Today it's a buck. All right. Thinks are great period proof underwear. Underwear is misspelled. Um, Tiki responsibly, yeah, Tiki is a, a relatively eco yoga company and super styly. Jade yoga mats are non toxic. Um, yeah, it's a great list. Robin, thank you. I always hate talking about stuff that is business related because I'm not trying to pitch you. This isn't QVC, but this is stuff I believe in. So I'm only ever going to talk about stuff I believe in. And actually, speaking of reuse, this um, tweed jacket, which I've worn a hole in, I need, uh, I need one, some of those elbow patches, uh, I bought at Buffalo Exchange, and it's kept me warm and hopefully stylish for a couple years. Um, Ashley, we're, who works with Elephant, we're going, she's our editor on duty, so if you feel like it, give Ashley some love. We're going to give the gift of adopting a shelter pet. I did not realize that. That is a big announcement. Because Ashley's dog, Baby, is basically Redford's girlfriend. Redford is pouting over here. I want to go out. I want to go out and play. Enough about this conscious consumerism holiday stuff. I work at napping and eating all day long, and all I ask is to be taken out for a walk and a play. And then he just talks and talks. It sits on his lap. That's Redford's voice. Well, hello, my name is Redford, and I'm a half-hound. Linnea, I went to Nomad Bead Shop on Black Friday and took advantage of their sale and bought a ton of beads and crystals to make all my friends and family's malas. That is awesome. Making your own holiday gift. Can't get much better than that. Love it. Laura Gomez, Boulder, Colorado. How cool. I don't think I've met you. Elephant, rescuing a pet saves lives? Yes, yes, yes. Click that link. It's super touching. There's um, a dog 
that's uh, tr been traumatized and abused and it's getting pet and it's freaking out and then you see it begin to enjoy and have a wonderful home and life. It's really, if you haven't you know, felt the old heart, the old ticker for a little while, watch that video. It's in the comments. Rescuing a pet saves lives. And the link is like 742-751, real catchy. Megan in Denver. Oh, also folks, if you're in Boulder or if you're overseas, we are hiring for editors, social media, only if you have some experience or knack for it. Check out the job description at elephantjournal.com slash jobs. And Ashley, can you put that link in the comments? Nienke, hey from the Netherlands. I give gifts when I find something good or secondhand I want to share, not because of Christmas. Sure, love that. Um, D, I love the red. Oh, the red frame. Uh, Jennifer, morning from Springfield, Missouri. Axkinosi chocolate, local favorite, does good works. I like chocolate, and I cannot lie. Stacy from San Diego, Aurora, amen. Holly, I plan on buying my gifts from a local Christmas market in Riga, Latvia. All handmade local gifts, quilts, scarves, hats, jewelry, etc. I love that. I want to go. Holly, can I come? Latvia. That's pretty close by, right? We can change the world for the better with Mindful Action, Elephant Journal, how we can all stand, pray with Standing Rock. Robin, Twain Hart, California, keeping it beyond simple this year, organic citrus fruit for all. I love that. I want some. Emily from Laramie, memberships to yoga studios are a great gift. That's a great idea. Uh, there's Callie, who we just are beginning to work with. Handmade gifts are the best. There's a link, 14 mindful gifts to give this holiday season. That's some ideas. And Ashley, if you can keep putting in the link to the elephantjournal.com slash gifts with a different product that you like before each one, like the yoga back roller thing, I love that. Pemba Tashidelic from Erie. Hey, Pemba. Uh, Erie, I used to ride my horse around Erie growing up here. Aubrey, Severy, Severyville, Tennessee. Welcome. Uh, Bev, yeah, if you're just tuning in and say where you're from or if you have a comment or a question or an idea about a gift that you want to give or um, something about conscious consumerism or um, if you have any comments or questions about the gift guide that we put together, took best a ton of work. I want to give her some love. If you do feel so inspired, check out the gift guide and share it up and Bess will be grateful and I'll be grateful because I'm grateful for Bess. Branda, Brandon, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hey, Beverly Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles. Cindy, Chicago. We've got a widespread gathering today. Brenda from Columbia, living in the U.S. for over 17 years. Welcome. Uh, Tessa. I made the sign for at. I don't, I don't know what I did. Oh, I made the slash. Yeah, not at. Um, yeah, so there's a link from Ashley in Boulder. We call Dumpster Diving Hippie Christmas. Uh, um, sorry, I was going to do my party trick, but it didn't work. Dumpster diving, deep defeat ban on turning trash into treasure. Brian from Tokyo. Uh, Konnichiwa. Christian from Fort Collins. Samantha, Medellin, Colombia, elephant lover. Awesome, thank you. Holly's a subscriber, love it. We got one subscriber in the house. Christy's a subscriber, thank you. Uh, Beverly's a subscriber. Yeah, so remember... Uh, if you want to give any, today it's a dollar, tomorrow it's two dollars. We're also for the first time, so today's the last day to grandfather your, the cheap price in, but two dollars is still pretty cheap a month. Um, and the other thing is for the first time we're going to offer a lifetime subscription uh, for 99 or for 108 dollars, I think. All right, Laura, beautiful handmade crystal wraps by my brothers, and you can follow him there, Scott, at Dustin77, I like that. Samantha with a whole bunch of elephant emoticons. I'm a fan of that. Um, actually, no, that's not the link. Elephantjournal.com slash member is not the link. It's uh, elephantjournal.com slash best. So if you can replace that, I'm going to delete that. Ashley. Holly, I love Buffalo Exchange. Yeah, Judy, totally opposite from the going crazy Christmases all my life. I'm keeping it chill. Harvey's Lake in Pennsylvania. There's a Harvey's Lake in Vermont that I want a little cabin on. Deborah, elephant subscriber here. Love elephant. I'll be happy to pay double for my subscription. Yeah, $2 a month is not that much. And frankly, um, you know, we want to be the world's biggest independent, mindful uh, journalism and creative writing source so that whenever ever anything happens in the world or in our lives, there's a sane, empathetic, um, 
um, really rational kind of resource that we can go to, fact-based resource. And there already are some great ones. I love NY Times, they do great journalism. Washington Post has been pretty impressive. D, the beard. Mick, Belgium says hello. Joanne, South Africa. Brandon, great question. First question, what are your thoughts on Etsy goods? Um, so Etsy is amazing, 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 amazing. I bought tons of stuff off of Etsy over the years, tons, meaning probably four or five things over the years, but I love it. Um, that said, because Etsy is so big now, there's a lot of crap on it. There's a lot of prefab, uneco crap. So you have to, you know, it's kind of like any big holiday bazaar. You have to find the stuff that's actually local and actually made uh, by Pete, by the craftspeople who are selling it. So you got to be discerning on Etsy. There's a lot of good stuff, though. Get your ethical organic holiday gifts here, elephantjournal.com slash gifts. Yeah, if you can put the elephantjournal.com slash gifts link in there repeatedly, like every couple minutes, like I asked in the talk show chat, um, with just a different gift as the intro for each one so people can remember. Kareem, hey, how you doing? Kareem, where were you from? Erica Kalua, Kailua in Hawaii. I want to come and learn how to say that. Holly. Yes, I can go with you. Latvia is only a 12-hour flight. I'm going this Saturday, so I better get my act together. Patricia from Thailand, love, give the gift of time and attention. Tamdin Wangdu. Tashi Delik, big love from Tamdin and the Tibet Village Project. So Tamdin, if you're still here, put in a link for the Tibet Village Project. Or Ashley, if you search Tibetan Village Project on Elephant, we have some blogs about it. This is something I've supported off and on for years. Tamdin is actually goes to Tibet, He's Tibetan, and he helps out people who are so broke, who often, like, they don't even have a warm place to live in the Tibetan winter. So, and he helps them create jobs for themselves that are ongoing and sustainable. Um, the Tibetan Village Project, if you're looking for a random good thing to give to, please consider it. It's so amazing, and he's actually doing the good work. So many um, nonprofits, you know, there's... A lot are good. There's ratings for them, so it's not a subjective thing. But uh, anyway, Tibetan Village Project, I used to MC it every year. And uh, it's really, uh, it's honestly one of my great motivations for becoming rich, that I can just give them tons of money. All right. Stacy, making knitted hats for all the nieces and nephews and me, also, and for Waylon. Big W on my knitted hat. I want one. Robin, me too, subscribing, loving it. Thank you. Uh, Christy, love the lifetime subscription op option. Um, yeah, yeah, it's forever. So we actually call it um, first lifetime, so not your second lifetime. That is the limit on it. You only get one lifetime, and then when you're reborn, you have to resubscribe to Elephant in 80 years or however long. Nicole, I'm using my essential oils to make natural homemade gifts, lip balm, sugar scrub, body cream, etc. I love all these gifts. What are you giving that's eco and mindful? So today is the last day, yeah, as Ashley says, to grandfather in the cheap price uh, for the elephantjournal.com uh, uh, subscription, elephantjournal.com slash best. No, that's not the link, it's read, elephantjournal.com slash read. Ashley, you gotta check out your links before you share them. Dot com slash best is our newsletter. So that's our newsletter, and dot com slash read is the subscribing. Anyway, people will figure it out if they want it. Mick, I'm thinking to change work, job, but I'm scared as hell because of the new of everything. New people, new atmosphere, new everything. How can I make it easier for myself? Well, I think just what you're doing, Mick, you're asking people, you're networking, you're communicating, you're not isolating yourself and your concern and your fear. So just talk with people. Go to a local cafe, talk with friends at some event. Just talk it out and your mind will naturally... Uh, kind of wrap itself around this challenge and become brave. That's how I approach that stuff. Also, a couple minutes of meditation in the morning, right before you go to bed, and we'll do that. And I think, you know, yeah, you should be scared of a challenge. You should be scared of anything new. And that scaredness, as they say in Buddhism, is, or nervousness, is a sign of the power of what you're walking into. So if you're not nervous, there's no power in that situation. So you have to take all that nervousness and fear, if you feel like it's the right thing for you to do, take all that nervousness and fear, and you have to kind of breathe into it and kind of like, as my Buddhist teacher says, more over it. So instead of being 
uh, sort of a victim of that fear or, or nervousness. You kind of breathe through it and then you use that power and they call it wind horse. You ride the wind horse. You ride the power of what you're doing. So you can do it. We're all, we all got you, Mick. Uh, Tessa, Atlanta, Georgia, originally Manila. Philippines, instead of useless material gifts, I'm spending time, meaningful experiences and moments for close family and friends throughout the year, not just the holidays, i.e. walks, hikes, ice cream dates, etc. But since I only have 365 dates a year, days a year, I'll be using your gift guide for other folks. Oh, that's sweet of you. Um, I love that. So the New York Times and everyone probably has done articles on how um, meaningful experiences are often more uh, are remembered more than gifts. Um, I don't really think it's about gifts versus experiences. I think it's about meaning. So to the degree to which there is meaning, you're going to treasure that gift or that experience. Um, so give a gift, whatever your gift is with meaning. If it's our gift guide, great. Uh, we spent a lot of time trying to get that together. But uh, if it's anything else, supporting someone local, going on these ice cream dates or, you know, Connecting with family, I think that's fantastic, and I need to do more of that. Sajin from Sajen from Vermont, from Sajen Joy from Discover the Gift. That's awesome. I miss Vermont. Carla, hello from New York. Love your articles. Thank you. Uh, Sarasota, Florida. Jackie in Orlando. If you're just tuning in, folks, say where you're from. Joseph, West Oakland, California. Let's talk about Giving Tuesday. Great suggestion. So Giving Tuesday. Wait, is that today? It is today, it is a day when you can kind of double your gift. I think there's a lot of matching gifts or something. Joseph, you can say more about it. But yeah, every year I've been giving to New Era Colorado. They get young people active in politics and progressive causes. It's not really partisan, but it's more about let's make our energy domestic and green. Let's um, you know stop using so many plastic bags. Let's support uh, LGBTQ rights. Um, let's get people conservative or liberal or whatever uh, to vote, registered to vote. So I love New Era Colorado, but yeah. And there's a link from Joseph to fight HIV. Sounds like a great cause. So today is Giving Tuesday. That's a great suggestion for a gift. And you can, I'm sure, give on behalf of someone if you'd like. All right, Autumn, hello from Mishawaka, Indiana. Handmade notebooks and blankets this year is what you're giving. I have my daughter helping, and it's a good lesson in giving her time and putting personal touches on gifts. She resisted, but I conquered the beast. She is proud of what we've done so far. I think that's wonderful. If you can slow children down and, and um, kind of find a way to connect with them and inspire them to do fun projects that they can take pride in, that's wonderful. Often it's just like a wall of fire. They don't want to leave their video games or their habits behind. But then if you get them involved in something creative and, and crafty, uh, then they can re or cooking, then they can take real pride in it. And it's fun, and it's a great way to connect. Kathy, just subscribed. Thank you. And hopefully it's a benefit to you. It's a uh, dollar a month today to subscribe to elephantjournal.com. It's been a dollar a month for six plus years, and tomorrow we raise it. Tesha, I make personal diffuser jewelry. What is that, like essential oils in, in the jewelry? Um, yeah, there's, thank you, Ashley. There's the Tibetan Village Project. Um, Rachel liked my sheep badge. Uh, Sabina is sorely disappointed in Elephant Journal for the lifetime subscription not carrying over to the next life. Yeah, we had a real tough um, drum circle about it, and we decided after um, some serious partner breath work that we really couldn't allow the second, let alone the third or fourth lifetimes to be covered by the elephantjournal.com um, slash read uh, lifetime subscription. Um, $108 and uh, we will send you a patchouli uh, blessing in the, in the uh, ether, but that's it. We draw the line there. I'm sorry, Sabina. Hey from Singapore, from Sabina. Yoholoholo, yoga makes Sustainable cork wheels, that's my favorite thing. Elephantjournal.com slash gifts. If you know of someone who works on the computer too much, doesn't take breaks, um, has a tough back or shoulders or neck like myself, then get them that wheel and they can just roll around on it. We have one at the office now and I've been rolling on it. I'm telling you, we be rolling. Joseph, West Oakland, California, it's Giving Tuesday. Oh, you already said that one. 
Um, but cool, you have a different one here. I'm riding my bike 545 miles from San Francisco to Los Angeles to help people with HIV. All right, uh, dude, you have to write about this on elephantjournal.com slash submit. Please write about this. We will help people give. Please write about this. Please write about it. That is awesome. Cheers to Joseph. Everyone give Joseph some love if you feel like it. He's riding 545 miles from San Francisco to LA on his bike to help people with HIV AIDS. Give the gift of donating to a great cause. You can give to him now. And Joseph, um, write. Christine, love my hat. Yeah, this is from, it's made in the US, and it's uh, from uh, Gurin. Yeah, I love Gurin. Yeah, and you can flip it down if it's like sunny or you're trying to be like Humphrey Bogart or Indiana Jones. You can flip it up if you want to look like, well, goddamn, oh, who, who done stole my bourbon? We have a lot of bourbon here in Colorado. All right, today is Giving Tuesday. We love it. Ruben from Kuwait. Hello, that's super cool. Tasha, I think I'm done. Want, want. Uh, Rachel, can your gift to me be your little sheep? No, I'm not giving up my sheep. It's mine. Holly, what is your favorite scent, like essential oils? Uh, I don't know. I like warm stuff. Like I love bay rum, traditional bay rum, and that has cloves and cinnamon and um, stuff like that. I love it. I love it. Um, but anything kind of uh, junipery, I love too. Anyway, I hope you're all super well. There's the link to write, elephantjournal.com slash write or submit, I think is the better link. Uh, Ashley, did you put in the correct link for the thing? I'm gonna assume you did. So if you wanna check out elephantjournal.com slash gifts, that's our ethical gift guide. If you need a present, all the mailing's done for you. Bada bing, bada boom, forget about it. And uh, if you wanna subscribe or, or give the gift of a mindful reading for a, a year or a lifetime, you can uh, give that today, elephantjournal.com slash read. And if you want to get our best stuff, not just the stuff you see on Facebook from Elephant, get elephantjournal.com slash best. Uh, let us uh, take a good posture and meditate for a second. Please join me. Meditation is not some spiritual hippy-dippy BS. It's simply practicing and training our minds to be present, retraining our minds to be present and open and strong and grounded. All right, find your breath in and out. And enjoy the silence, the absence of my voice. Eyes are open, down, find your breath in and out. And let's bow with respect and begin. Find your breath in and out. If you find yourself distracted by thoughts about girls or cookies or bicycling or hot tubs or reading the New Yorker in your hot tub, label that thinking. There's no problem with the thoughts. They're just thoughts. Just whatever your thoughts are, good, bad, happy, sad, label it thinking and return your attention gently to your breath. And let's end with a bow of mutual respect and may this discussion, if you feel like giving a like or a love, if you feel like sharing it, if you feel like giving it a weird emoticon face, that'll help the video get out beyond the Facebook algorithm. Um, and uh, hopefully we can encourage conscious consumerism on Craigslist, on the Elephant Journal gift guide, on your local craft fair, whatever you're doing, making your own stuff. Um, and let's end with a bow of mutual respect. Wherever you are in the world, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and, uh, there's a comment, Christine, uh, that I feel like I probably should address in the last week. I've lost my job, been evicted from my home, had an argument with the landlord over eviction. Cause I have a cat. He falsely accused me of assault, was arrested, spent two days in jail, had a nervous breakdown because of it. Yeah, that sounds pretty intense stuff. Um, now I'm sitting here penniless and homeless thinking this is 
odd. I'm sure there's a silver lining somewhere for me. So number one, there's tons of resources. If you go to your local library and you Google local resources uh, for ho homelessness, um, emergency family assistance, food assistance, uh, job training, um, basically, yeah, this is a really rough experience you're going through, so do some of that meditation. <sighs> Breathe through it. As I always say, one of my favorite quotes from Robert Frost is, uh, the only way out of your situation is through. So you got to face everything. You got to deal with it. You got to breathe through it so you're not overwhelmed by it. You got to kind of get yourself in, in a good space about it. And I don't say that lightly. I know it's tough. Uh, and stop worrying about who did what and you're innocent, they're guilty, whatever. Any of that drama, just forget about it and focus on finding assistance in the short term immediately. Um, and trying to get yourself out of this situation and know just communicate with your community, go to local cafes, try and find um, a simple job if you need a job, if you can, uh, whatever you can do, uh, just communicate about it like you just did and keep reaching out and um, try and do a lot of meditation so that you're grounded, so you're not caught up in the drama. Uh, and I don't say that condescendingly, but there's a lot of intense emotion going on around situations like that. And that's fine, but you gotta face it and breathe with it. So you got it. Give us updates and let us know if there's a way to help. Um, seriously, you can email me at uh, Waylon at elephantjournal.com. We'll put that link in the comments. And um, if you can uh, describe your situation in a little more detail, maybe we can uh, see how we can help. All right. You got this, Christine. You sound good. Okay. Thank you, everyone. And uh, may there be peace on earth. That's what the holidays are about. When I hang up, you can uh, click the link to get notifications on future videos uh, so that you don't miss them. And um, and then you can also get all my videos, uh, much shorter ones, on youtube.com slash elephant journal. Thank you so much and big love to Christine.